Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. Worked hard all my lifetime. No help from my friends. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Well, it's back. What a fun car that is to drive. I can't help but smile when I drive that car. It hasn't always looked this good, as you know. It, we put it in for restoration and uh, we documented some of the footage. This is spot on there, this vehicle. So take a look, see what you think. It's my G-Wagon. I pulled out of a barn maybe four or five years ago. It's been stored in my barns because I haven't had the time, no chance to get it restored, but it keeps looking at me, calling to me. And now's the time. We've had a great little team, that's so keen, young, fresh blood, newly started business, and I'd love to give them the opportunity. The original color is red, we're going red. The interior bars and the roll bars at the back are gonna be black. So it's red, black, be like a Ferrari. So the model itself is a, Mercedes G-Wagon 300 GD convertible. It's got 75,000 miles on the clock. It's a right-hand drive. It's quite a special vehicle. It's looking a bit sad and sorry for itself, but I really can't wait to get it restored. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna document the whole process all the way, and you could be as excited as I am watching it develop and grow. This is the only bit of rust here. I'm very grateful that this, that is that is it. Nice tan interior, the original door cards, doors slammed nice and shut, nice solid, it's like a tank. So we started ourselves a year ago, taking bits off and we was gonna start to restore it as we went along in between work, but work has just got busier and busier. So we put all the bits together, they're going with the G-Wagon, G wagon. I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Yeah, mate. Bye, Daniel. Right, boss. Yeah. I didn't realise you had such a nice little setup. Yeah, well, we were quite lucky in finding it, really. This just was a. Is this what you built? Yeah, we put all the cladding on, put all the feathers But the framework was on. here in the pad. The frame and the concrete pad was here. We built the doors. The front of it's actually really nice. So you're a spray shop, but you've left it rusty. It looks well good. Yeah, it was, quite, it was quite nice when it was all uh, um, fresh steel, but now it's 
Well, now it's weathered a bit, it's actually really nice. It's a nice little setup, I think it's a lovely workshop. Yeah, I thought, I, I said to Chris, I said, you probably more just in the workshop than your own G wagon. Oh, it looks good, uh, raised. Is I it? thought you'd like it raised. All I've done is jack it up so it's level because the springs on the passenger side have been removed, so it was all cock sided. Yeah. And I thought I don't really want you to see it all sort of yeah, looking a bit sweet. sorry for itself. I love this opened up. I think I would. I'd love to. Drive. This is this is what me and Chris. We were standing back, jacked up, had the roof off, and we were like, now it's a beach wagon. Cruise down the beach, dudes in the back, a couple of beers. It's cool, it's really nice. The whole time um, I was driving it about, there was no power steering, and I thought, well, oh, never mind, it's, it's all right though. And when I found this power steering pump, I thought, excellent. Now look, there's no uh, fluid. Yeah, exactly. I think if we open that up. We, we might have luck on our side that yeah. just put some fluid in it. There's, really. nothing, there's nothing in it. I think that's probably why it's been unbolted. I wanted to do the mechanics. Yes. And then I was gonna send it off for the bodywork. Uh, but right, like okay. you guys. Yeah, we'll do the whole lot. Yeah, the whole lot. Yeah, we'll do the whole Let's lot. Let's take it to one place. Classic yes. works. That's it. That's it. Moss and Chris. It's yeah. us. That's it. <laughs> Give me a smile, Chris. <laughs> Good work, guys. I'm gonna head off now. I've got loads of shit to do. Cool. Okay. Well, thanks for calling by. And yeah, we've we've got work to do as well. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Nice workshop. I can see when people have made effort. Take it easy. Yeah. Well yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for right. yeah, Good stuff. Later. Now I'll take the seats out now, and then that'll be the next stage of our um, restoration. So if we can get these off to the trimmers, we'll be doing the same thing as the panels. So paint stripping, do any necessary panel beating, then primer, block that down, and then paint. Managed to get the front end off. Uh, the G wagon so far, so the inner wings, outer wings. We've had the radiator rebuilt, record because it was completely mashed. I don't know if, what from, but being uh, being the type of vehicle, it's going to take a bit of a battering. Everything's back in back in place. So the power steering pump, the alternator, which was all hanging off. Screen's out. The screen did break when it came out, but it was because it was just really, really fragile. But we have another one ordered, so that won't be a problem. Tread plates are out, really, really small amount of rust in the floor. Being the age of the vehicle and what it's actually intended to be used for is actually very solid, very solid example. So the next stage is take the rest of the interior out. So the seats will come out, the center console will come out, all of the side trims are off, all in amazing condition, really nice and straight. Literally held on with uh, just a couple of rivets that had been uh, drilled out and then removed. Took the hood cover mounting strips off. Under this side is really, really good condition, apart from this rear corner bit here, which is a bit, bit scabby, but really easy, really basic to sort of fabricate. Everything that's been removed off the wagon has been bagged. Wagon, offside, wing, couple of rusty bolts, but it's just to give me notes and indication of what size nuts need or bolts etc. On this side is a bit of a different case to the other side. This side has almost been sort of sitting off a curb so all the water has rested in here and corroded it away but still not too difficult to fabricate, get this made, put it through a swaging machine to recreate this indentation so that'll be good. So like I say the next stage is start prepping the body for restoration work. We're off to King's Lynn now to see our guys at Classic Works. So this is your chassis off here, off the body. And now the nicest thing about this, it's incredibly solid, as you can see. Have you done much cleaning yet? It looks we've degreased it, pressure washed it. Oh right, yeah. So we can see because it was all just covered in. Yeah, nice solid props. This is a real solid piece. Is it 87? 85. 85? Yeah. Oh, right, it's got 86 out there. 85. All this nice German Mercedes parts. It's. Uh, yeah, it's a, some really nice details on it. So it'd be nice to actually. Okay, when the body's on, you're not going to see the actual massive amount of it, but at least we know that everything's going to work, everything's going to be clean. How's it sounding though? On the video it sounds good. Is all the engine sound nice and lovely yeah, to you? No, no nasty locks. Yeah, spoke like and it. Just, it just needs 
it's going to be smoky because it hasn't ran for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as you change the oil, it needs an air filter. Obviously, that doesn't help. A new oil filter. All this sealer is going to come off, and we're going to replace that with new sealer. This is solid, mate. It is. It's remarkably solid. The whole thing. It's like, amazing. In the later years, all the Mercedes vans and things and cars are rust vans. buckets. Yeah. This won't take much longer now, and uh, the paint arrived from black. All the black inner wings and this stuff. So it'll be going satin black, that bit will be welded and ready for paint. Great seeing you today. Indeed, really good work with the old G-Wagon. Yeah, it's coming on nicely. Feeling a bit positive. Well, I was positive anyway, but I'm feeling it. Uh, it's coming together I'm now. I'm glad, yeah, because yeah. I was a little bit worried as well. Would you? Yeah, I was like, oh, I haven't really... I've, to me, it felt like I haven't really done much, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you're coming along there, so... Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll keep a look out. I'll keep watch on your papers going on. I'll look out for WhatsApp pictures and stuff. And um, just keep pushing it along, mate. See you later. Nice one. All right, well done. I guess we better see how the G-Wagon's getting on. I can see some fresh paint. That's, that's uh, cool. She looks beautiful. Wow. I really was looking forward to seeing the red and it's really come to life. Well, you know, the chassis, I don't know from last time what's happened, but it looks ready to go now. It it's is ready to go. So all the brake lines are on, all the low uh, compensators on, which is this rod here. So if you push down on the suspension, that basically, when you're loaded up in the back, that puts more pressure on the brakes. So stopping is good. Shocks are good. Everything's new. Brakes are rebuilt, new discs, new bearings. The exhaust is the original exhaust, which wasn't too bad, so we just cleaned that up and painted it. These new uh, new flexi pipes, they're all good. Yeah, nice. Tank's been looked over. Compared to other 4x4s, is there something significant about the G-Wagons like this one? Because it looks really sharp, you know, it's it real. It's quite similar to the Land Rover chassis. These, on a Land Rover, the outriggers are square, mm. which are massive mud traps and dirt traps, which mm. then they rot out. But the nice thing about these is they're round, ah. so water actually just runs off them. Little things like that that make a massive difference, and that's why the chassis has fared so well. So I've picked the G-Wagon up from Classic Works. They're based in Norfolk. A couple of good guys, Chris and Moss. I'm really satisfied with the wagon. I found it in a barn and it had just been sat and left and a bit tired. But the bones of it, good engine, low mileage. Four owners in 38 years. It was a good model to restore. So the car itself, the model, when you look through the brochure, it even mentions that the convertible model, this specific one in the 300GD, wasn't stocked in the UK. So this is a UK registered model when it comes to the line. It must have been a bespoke privileged order. When we got it, it had been blown over in some metallic blue and bleeding through, you could see this red under the flaking of paint and we thought that was a primer. It turns out that was the original paint. So it's the original Mercedes red. We've done the classic interior the same. I didn't stick no awful alloys on it. Kept the original wheels, just painted them up. The engine is all original. It just needed a flush through and a run through. Some people say that's, that model of engine will get you through one end to the Sahara Desert and back. No bother, it'll just go forever. That's an engine that just once it runs, it'll just go forever. In the end of world, that's the sort of engine you want. That's just a bomb proof, bulletproof, 
Go Forever engine. It smells like a brand new car. I know it's all is brand new everywhere, but it's got that newness in it at the minute. All that new leather and pure leather hide and everything's been done. It just smells like a brand new car off the production line. So as if it's like a time walk, this car. Iconic of the 1980s. Do you know when I bought it, I'd never seen one before. It's not like I wanted this car. It just landed on my lap. And for a short while, I, well, not even for a short while, a good few years, I had it in storage and I offered it to quite a few people. I'd, even I got a few messages looking back on my Instagram, people trying to, oh, how much is it? And I offered it for next to nothing. For nothing. You would never even be able to get anywhere close to what I offered it to, yeah? I'm so glad no one stepped up and bought it off me because they would have nicked it off me and got it cheap and it would have been awful. But now, nah, we've got a fully restored, solid investment. Incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. It's the only one in England that, are, that of this calibre that I think is in existence. And if you try and find one for sale anywhere in the world, you might find some in Europe and they'll be left-hand drive and they'll be... They, they're, they're the same thing, they've got a black roof and you'll find some nice tasty ones, but they won't be of this calibre. None of them look as sweet as this. I don't know how long it will stay showroom quality because uh, I don't mind my vehicles to be dirty and used because that's what they are. That's where the fun comes from. When I was choosing the colour combination with um, the roof colour and the body colour, I thought I didn't want a black roof. I'll go with a tan roof, like a Ferrari. Red body, tan roof. I chose some fabric and a nice tan interior as well. We got this upholster in Norfolk local and he was dreadful. Stitching was overlapping, the quality was substandard. It was awful. This guy, he's an old boy and he's got a team of workers, but I'll tell you it was awful. So then what we did, I found a brilliant upholsterer, wonderful. He does my mate's cars, does all his Bentleys. He's stitching, I went and looked at it and always, it was brilliant he was. We got the traditional Mercedes checker with a little flash of red in it. So it's black leather, grey and a flash of red and then the black roof. I decided it was the right way in the end. And how good does that look in black? Black and red. It goes with the trims, it goes with everything. The tan, the tan didn't work. It didn't work. So he done us a favour by cocking it up that upholsterer and finding a new upholsterer and we end up changing the colour and we end up getting a fantastic job. So I hope you enjoyed the, um, the restoration and the build and the transformation start to finish. It looks wonderful, I hope you agree and enjoy it as much as I do, just looking at it. You know, it's a real gem. We'll take it off road now, we'll go through the Norfolk lanes, show it off, see how it looks. Go for a little spin now.